hear my phone go off with an emergency warning. Take shelter. You got a bunker set up? Nope. I'm going to hop in the sewer. What are you going to hop in the sewer and do? Take cover? You could lay on. You could lay under the your trailer, can't you? Yeah, because war is. It, if it, yeah, yeah, I'd I feel safer in the sewer though. Yep, yeah, it's about to break out. Oh damn! I didn't realize I hit the live button. I guess we're Oops. we're going live. Uh, here we go. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Vaping is for quitters. Thank you, Ricky. Ricky Mahoney. You all right, uh -huh, SD? For three. Yeah, yeah we, I was <laughs> handling something real quick. All right, let's do this. Smooth transition time. There we go. Look at that. Let me find this. It over there. Where do I want to put that? I'll put that right there. I don't what? think this was the smoothest transition ever. No, really? I don't think it was. You've been hitting that Daz boot too much. I have been. It's the boot is coming. So what is going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number two three three. And I'm certain everybody's wondering what's up with this title. Well, there it is. I kind of hate that Mike's kind of... Mike didn't get it today? The funny part was that I was the first one to order one and the last one to get it. So, this is it right here. Folks. Thanks for copying me, guys. This is it. Uh, I, don't I got know. three. Did I order mine first? Mm -hmm. Surprise, the most <sighs> awkward coffee. coffee. Folks, this is what you call does boot life right here. Das Boot. So, das Boot. Of course, there is a backstory to that, which will be coming soon. But, uh, yes, myself, Mark, Mike, and don't forget Brian. Brian also has his in his possession. So, uh, yeah. Well, the funny thing is we all ordered it same time the other night. And Mike's kind of... I don't know what happened to Mike's, but uh, I came up with the idea, and of course, as always, everyone copied me. So. Don't even try that. The funny part was St. and Brian was saying, "Yeah, we're gonna order these. We gotta get them." So I go on Amazon, I order one, and I'm like, "I got mine." And then St. and Brian, everybody else, is like, "Well, I guess we gotta order them now." Yeah. So I was like, "What? Wait a minute!" I was like, so obviously, you guys all copied me. But let's even be a little bit more realistic about this. I'm the one that actually got the the game plan yes. going because you I, got the game plan going. I, yes. I found the man out there that uses this. Big shout out to my boy Chugs out there. Uh, we'll talk Chug about, life, baby. Chug life. We'll Chug talk, life. We'll talk about him yeah. shortly. Yeah. Uh, and if you hear any of this going on, we're under alert right now. Uh, four. Yeah, yeah. So keep in mind we are we under go. full alert right now, but. <laughs> They're coming with the fucking war jokes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is... We were just sitting here and realized that uh, uh, things are getting a little crazy over there in the Middle East right now. So uh, this show could be all over the place tonight. It could be uh, a last week of shows, <laughs> of shows, actually, but... It could be the last week of vaping for most people. It could be. Uh, war might be intimate here, so... But anyway... You know what? With that being said, uh, can you start us go find me for ST and a microphone? Woo hoo wee! I didn't say that. Who said that? Uh, Bachelor. Oh, well, Bachelor's a piece of shit. So, anyway, oh, thank you. thank you, Bachelor. How about that? Thank you. Uh, Mark is high too. Oh yes, Mark is that. So we've done the long intro. <laughs> Mark, take okay. it away. Same uh, shit as like the past six months. We got the evil dildo with the BTFC. We got the Vaporesso Target PM80, something like that. There we go. Light up, beautiful. We got some three milligram pistache. We got some of the best 
tobacco. Double zero from Beer Vape Co. Tobacco Cappuccino. I need to interrupt a second because Steve is about to leave. Steve actually wants to say, just in case, because of everything that's going on in the world, just in case he doesn't have an opportunity, he'd like to say hello to everyone. Steve? Ah, hi, everyone. Say hi. Hey. hey, Steve. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's been a while since I've seen you. but It has been a while. <laughs> I'd like to see you a little more often. Well, that would be nice. That would be... <laughs> Maybe Mike will let you come down here and work for me instead of him. It's like a privilege. It only happens once ever so far. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. You got Bye, some... everyone. Bye. No wonder Mike is always in the basement. Uh-huh. That explains things a little bit more. You got the uh, Watchman Thinger from uh, Watchman Call It, Freemax. And then we got the Hudamaha from Anakin. I forgot which one they're on now. That's the Chroma R, but thank you very much. R, R stands for uh, romancing. Romancing, ridiculous. Yep. And uh, yes, sponsor is spelled with a O R, not an E R. Thank you. Take it away, Mike Vapes. <laughs> take it away, ST Vapes. Uh, take it away, Mike. Or is Mike? Oh. Mike's, all right, I'll go ahead. Mike's dealing with stuff. So tonight, uh, kind of drop back to the, uh, which one is this? The X? Is it like the iPhone X? Yes, the X with the Valerian 2. X! Uh, man, I really, I, I was looking at this, I've been looking at this for days, and I was like, the d has got to come back into uh, the lineup, so got her fired up. Also rocking the Chroma R with the Ananai. Uh, I've got the trusty old Caliburn. And there's probably some other stuff here. I have not opened this yet, but uh, I want to give a big shout out to my boy, Mr. Mike Vapes. Hooked me up with one of these P4s so I can charge my Caliburn that I use all the time. And juices. I'm uh, doing some Batman stuff tonight. The pineapple upside down, right side up cake. Also, the coquito. And I finally got some of this high neck Boston cream, baby. Yes, this is good stuff right here. And last but not least, I got the little, le little drip left out of the humble. Good stuff. So... Can I do this real quick before I hand it off to Mike? Because I've seen this come across. Thank you for the donation there, Mr. Gregory Brown, little Wayne, little John. He said, what's up, guys? Did y'all see the father, son, little John pick in the group and interrupt Mark? <laughs> Damn, I should have read that quicker. Yes, I did, and that was awesome. Take it away, Mr. Mikey Vapes. All righty. Good evening, chat. Greg, C, Steve, S Sid. Uh, Adrian, I fucked that all up. <laughs> I'm vaping on the uh, Boxer Classic Intake Dual. Oh, what happened here? Oh, baby. Yeah. I have a uh, Raspberry Custard inside there. Also vaping on the uh, Evil Dildo with the Rebirth. Got a little Bule Bule inside there. I'm vaping on the uh, Chroma Slide MTL Kit. Got a little bit of Boston cream, 12 milligram inside there. Uh, also vaping on the uh, Oxfa Origin AIO. Mm -hmm. Inside there, we got some blended. blended. And uh, also vaping on this uh, Tesla Punk. Is that what it's called? The Punk Pod, I think. Tesla Punk Pod. Got some acai berry in there. Little caliber in action, and uh, that's it. I got some other stuff here, but that's what I'm vaping on tonight. Thank you. Big shout out to my man TVC. Thank you for the donations, sir. Hashtag boot life. <clears throat> TVC is a part of the boot crew. Uh, shout out to Adrian for selling his giveaway. Thank you, Adrian. Congratulations. You know what? I, I did not get in on this for some reason, but uh. What was the device you donated that he sold already? Uh, the evil dildo. 
He sold it before he even got it from from me. Damn. Really? He bought one like right before he won it. So And how much did he sell it for? That I'm not sure. I didn't ask him. Adrian, what is up with that, son? I'm I'm kinda hurt. Like deep down inside him. Why couldn't he sell the one that he bought, not the one that he won for me? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. Well, basically he pulled a move that you pulled, Mark. <laughs> It's the same thing like you threw away a mod that was given to you. True. He sold the mod that was given to him. Yeah. You yeah. shouldn't be really upset over that. Tell you the truth. Some kind of money off of it. Yeah. Good point. Congratulations, Adrian. <laughs> there you go. I'll send you another one. You could sell it. <laughs> now he's trying to say he didn't sell it, which we know Adrian stretches the truth quite a bit. I'll, I'll just point blank say that he lies a lot. <laughs> so, uh, because there are some pretty steamy photographs of him and a particular other person that he keeps denying, and uh, I've seen it. I've actually got the pictures. Yep. So, <clears throat> but anyway. So, let's start off by saying this. Y'all are probably wondering about the title. You're probably wondering about why in the hell are they drinking out of these da boots? Well... <laughs> Something I like to do a lot. I always like looking for the crazy, odd people out there on YouTube just doing some off-the-wall shit. But for once, I didn't have to go looking far. This one just happened to show up in my feed. I found a gentleman named Badland. What is it Badlands Chugs? Badlands, is it? Yeah, Badland Chugs. That's it, Badland Chugs. Now, this gentleman is one of those guys that does the competition eating and stuff like that, but he's a little bit more well-known for chugging stuff out of these boots right here. Now, don't go do this yet, but after the show goes off, y'all need to go check this man's channel out and go give him a sub go over there and you will see some of the craziest stuff on this man's channel it will keep you entertained for a long time uh thank you for the donation there mr what is that pelly uh love you all hey we love you too brother south korea <clears throat> south korea you gotta love that south korea stuff right there southeast korea oh, <laughs> south southeast. <laughs> southeast it could have been southeast kansas i don't know but yep uh, but yes, definitely go check out this man's channel. He puts down some things that is just unreal, uh, craziest stuff. We've been watching him the past two nights and it's like every time we click on one, we're amazed what this man's doing. He's got like 1.7 million subscribers on there, and his channel is growing quick. So you got a lot of, <laughs> you got a lot of six liters of Mountain Dew in like what five minutes? Yes, he six. he literally drank two of these boots. Now one of these boots will hold two liters. He drank two boots of eggnog in no time flat. <laughs> Dude, how about the beef broth? The beef broth. He drank two full boots of those. So I think what we're gonna do is maybe we'll do it on Mark's show coming up. We're gonna mm. we're gonna try to decide something that we can have a competition between the four of us and we're gonna chug these boots and see what we can do with them. Now mm -hmm. watching this dude do it is one thing. I just received mine a few hours ago. Took it out of the box, got it cleaned up. And I'm looking at it going, holy crap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to chug two liters of something, dude. <laughs> I would say either beer or like an ice cream shake. Again, let me show you this. <laughs> this thing. I got a lot of, lot of shake. I got a lot of ice in here, but the top portion of the boot is massive. So it, it holds a lot. So... It's pretty much just like getting a two liter of Coke and just downing it. So, it's the most uncomfortable, shittiest cup I've ever drank out of. <laughs> it really is. It's not. It's, it's a, 
it's not proportioned well in any fashion. I want to see who's going to be the first one to knock it over. That's why I might stand back there and not buy the electrical stuff right here. So I've already knocked mine over in the sink trying to clean it up real quick, but the glass seems to be a little bit thick on it, so it's it's held out pretty good. But, uh, yeah, fairly crazy. Dude. <laughs> The thing about it is, again, once you go check this guy out, you will laugh your ass off watching this dude. I mean, he's made for this. Now, how much longer he's going to be around, I don't, I, I don't know because the challenges this man's doing, he's basically doing everything that like carbonated drinks. and oh, the Taco Bell. Didn't he do, like, do a Taco Bell one? Did he? He, Remember he had all those oh not Taco Bell, the White Castles? Oh yes. yes. The dude How about the spaghetti, the big platter of spaghetti with all that uh the spicy The spicy noodle challenge. He did a casserole dish and ate it up like it's nothing. Yeah. He did thirty sliders within I think it was two or three minutes. Yep. Oh my and god. And he doesn't seem like a professional eater. Like he's not skinny and in shape. He's like severely overweight. So this is like Yes. Kind of bad for him to do at the but I don't know. It's it's funny as hell though. Heavy Heavy says you could put a fish in that thing. Dude, you yeah. could actually get some goldfish. Dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could live in there. It's crazy, but <laughs> I gotta say though, he he is he's got that personality for this. He's a funny dude. Uh just I don't know. You definitely gotta go check him out though. But mm-hmm. he is uh African American also. Uh, Rick Mahoney, uh, what you need to do is refresh, son, because I'm doing at 1080p there. Yep, I'm actually the feed is at 1080p. I'm watching it. I'm watching it in 8k at the moment. Ooh, Damn. Ooh. we're gonna be all over the place tonight. Anyway, so before while I was getting my feed ready and all this and that, I just happened to see a video made in Japan that was 8k. Of course, I don't have 8k monitors to actually look at it like that. But I clicked it on the highest resolution just to get a kind of a glimpse. And man, I can only imagine an 8K what this video would look like. It is probably off the chain. It was showing, uh, because I guess this week is uh, CES, which is like a convention for all the electronics. It's like one of the biggest ones. Uh And they were showing the new LG 8Ks. Oh, my God. There's gorgeous. Definitely some crazy stuff going on. Yep. And uh, super thin. Mm-hmm. Super thin. The televisions themselves, they're so thin that not only that they're thin, behind it there's a little bracket that goes flush mount and and comes out. So you don't have and then you could just it's a mounting mechanism to mount on a wall. And right. then when you push it. It goes against the wall flush. Also, you don't need to buy one of those big ass TV mounts. No, it, oh, wow. dude, it's sick. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And the the price tag on them is pretty awesome too. Yeah. <laughs> but most things are uh, most things that you're gonna watch, like I guess on satellite or net, whatever. You're not gonna get an 8K anyway because they're not streaming it in 8K, but. Um, you will, I guess, find a few things out there. Yeah, floating. well, 8K is kind of, uh, they were even saying it, how it's kind of right now not worth it to get it. The only people that would get it that would have some benefit in 8K would be if you live in Japan, because I think in Japan they're doing some 8K already, and I also heard in Italy they're doing 8K. But the rest of the world, shit, they ain't even doing 4K. Yeah, true. You know, so a lot of people... The people that are going to be attracted to buy the 8K are the ones that are just want to get an 8K TV so they could say they got an 8K, even though they won't watch anything that's an 8K. The first thing that obviously they'll be able to watch in 8K will be most likely when people start producing 8K videos on YouTube. Yeah. That'll be the first thing you'll be able to see. And I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, who's going to do it? Uh, what's that What's that guy, Mar- Marquise Brownlee? Marquise Brown. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. He has, yeah. Uh, yeah, he has. Uh, he uses 8K cameras, so I think he's gonna. I think he 
either will or he already uploaded one video in AK just so people could see. You can't tell really the difference. Yeah. 8K. Brian says he's got a 24K. There you go. Uh, I have a 401K. Yes, I also have a 401K. That's awesome. Yeah. Dude, I'm realizing every time I take a drink out of this, as cold as the water is now. Here, here's another thing about this dude. And I, I'm going to probably keep jumping back on this. Everything he does is like freaking ice cold. So, when he's killing this stuff, it's like as cold as it gets, and I can tell right now. Mark, you think we're going to have a problem doing that? I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to knock this thing over. Yep. <laughs> you set it down, it, go, it rocks side to side. I'm, I'm actually scared to touch it right now, because every time I do it, I'm like, handle it real gently. <laughs> it's the worst stuff ever. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna drink my coffee out of that. <laughs> Holy crap, man! That's a lot of coffee right there, dude. Yeah, so, what is going on in the vape world right now? Uh, it is a vape show. I, you know, sometimes we get to talking and we don't really talk much about vape stuff. But I did get this in yesterday. My trilogy RTA. I'm kind of a. Uh, Thank God you built it for the show. I know. I was telling the guys. I'm like, I got home today, and I'm like, man, I just didn't have enough pep in me to sit here and put a build in it, mess with it. So there, it still sits. I guess that shows you how excited I am right now. But even though I am, I want to get a build going in it and start vaping on it. But I got that. There was something else I got. And I'm looking around and I don't see it and I can't remember what it was now. How about y'all? Did y'all get anything like holy like holy crap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is hooked on this uh this little five dollar disposable free max thing. I actually did get vape mail. I was like, oh shit, vape mail, cool, something and uh it ended up I'll show you. Yeah, this <laughs> this right here. <laughs> oh my god it ended up being something i already reviewed <laughs> they sent me the retail versions of the target pm80 oh damn oh yep. so i was like Fuck that. hey but you know what's funny and we were just talking me and you were just talking about this other day we were like we haven't seen anything from tesla in a while and i just seen you hold up the little tesla thing so i guess they've been working on that little <laughs> yep their little punk little pod. Tesla pod thing. No, they're making mods, but they're just not sending them for review. Yeah. Yeah. I think because uh, we've kind of hit on this a little bit, and you know, I've kind of heard that. You know, you're not seeing everybody get everything anymore, and they're probably going to start limiting people to what you see out of people now. So. Kind of, for instance, like on bigger companies and some well-known devices, you might only see a few like well-known reviewers in this country that are actually reviewing it, opposed to seeing a slew of folks doing it. But I think that's uh, a new direction they're starting to go in. Yeah, I uh, think it feels like it anyways. Yeah. And... If any of y'all were concerned by any means, I was giving Mark and kind of messing with Mark the other, I think it was Sunday night, about his little nasty letter he got from a company that we both did a review on. Oh, well, yeah. I got mine yesterday. This <laughs> same identical email, so they must have it on file and just shoot it out opposed to uh, doing anything else. But big shout out to uh, Flair out there. Thank you very much. At least you watched the video, but... Flare, Vapor. Yeah, they don't watch the channel, so you, you can talk all the shit you want. Yeah. They don't know when the video goes up. Now, yeah. are they related to the Jones? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> How about the Walter? I, I, I actually think the Jones, even though I never had it, was probably a little better, correct? Goddamn Jones. Jones was better, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they weren't too happy with my video either. Uh, and I... Typically, I'll be honest with you, in the past when I've had companies reach out going, hey, you know, why didn't you say this shit was good? 
a lot of the times I just don't even bother to respond. I mean, it's you reached out to me. You wanted me to review your product. I reviewed it. If I didn't like it and I said it, that's the end of it. There's no, there's no then, going back and forth on it. Companies always say like, well, then you should have done a video. Well, if that was the case, like there'll be products out there. How was I going to say this? That I don't know. For, never mind. Well, no, 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 I get what you're saying. No, I don't. I don't remember. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, well, what I what I'm saying is, and again, if you send a product out, I, I you know, you're you're hoping that I guess your product is good or whatever. But now, this is everybody's opinion on it. I could have got this, and Mike could have got this, and Mark could have got it. I could have thought the shit was good to me, and Mike and Mark would have been like, "Oh man, it's the worst thing in the world." You know, there's some things that are kind of opinion, and then there's some things that are facts on it. Definitely. Uh, this one right here was facts. There was no, you know, opinion to it on this. So. It was actually a piece of shit. <laughs> yes. So, you know, but I, I'm not, I, I'm not going to, I'm damn sure not going to lie. I've never lied about it before in any videos, and I'm, I'm not starting now. So, because they were concerned that I didn't do a balanced review on it because I gave both products a thumb down. To be honest with you, I was actually only, I was really only asked to review one of the products. So yep. actually they got two of them in one video. Yep. But. One of a bitches. So, uh -huh. you know, maybe that was my bad. I don't know. But anyway. So but what I was trying to say earlier that I forgot is if people didn't do reviews on bad shit, then there would only be good videos out there. Yes. And that's there would it. Be There'd be no point in reviewing then, would there? There'd be no point in watching videos because they're all going to be good. Yeah. That's so, why there's going to be bad shit too. It happens. Uh, the only step further, and it, again with me, it doesn't happen much because I don't do near what these guys do, but I've had it happen once or twice where I've done the review, I didn't like it, I stated it, and then the company reaches out and says, can you please pull the video down? And it's like, no, I, I don't pull my videos down. You know, you you wanted a review, I gave it to you. So, yep. you want it, you got it. That's right. it but I think what we need to do. <laughs> ain't much to review on it, but we could do a review on one of these. These boots are so pointless if you're not doing, like, chug contests with them. There's no reason. I, I mean, it looks like a Santa Claus boot. It's like something you'd leave out for Christmas time and then just put it back up. And it has, like, no grip on it. I feel like it's going to slide out of my hand at any moment. Apparently, these are more or less for people over in Germany during Oktoberfest that are just, like, killing beer like crazy. Uh, and I can't even see them holding that shit for too long, but... Uh, you gotta love das boot how much is it for a positive review these days uh 20 bucks i think yeah. the going price i think 20 dollars is the going price on that yeah i do a positive review for 20 bucks why not uh very true bob he says if they want a great review they need to create a great product i 100 percent yeah. agree with you there we are kasha Oh, and, and I feel like I'll be doing this the rest of the time I'm making shows and as long as this gentleman's alive. Big shout out to Marvin Norton, the oldest man in vaping. What is going on, Marvin? So... He wants to know what sweatshirt I'm wearing. I have no clue. Whoa! It's an old hoodie that I've had for a while. I don't even know what it is, what brand it is. Uh, but hurt and threatens lawsuits. Uh, well, you can, there's, uh, yeah, we won't even step into that one, but, uh, wait, who's suing who? What happened? I think he was just making a, a comment saying that the company was butt hurt and then they like to threaten with lawsuits, nope. which, uh, China ain't going to be able to sue anybody. First of all. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's going to be fun. But anyway. But uh, what is it? I think the official date is January 28th or 29th that uh, Chinese New Year kicks in. So 
seems to be like a few days earlier than the typical but there's definitely not gonna be anything coming you want to talk a little politics let's talk it and it's I'm, gonna be politics so gonna... i guess uh steven taylor saying that i guess bernie sanders and i know that biden also said that uh if they get elected if they become presidents or whatever they will eliminate vaping the vaping industry so what? now I want to say I did see a little uh, something somewhere about Biden stating that uh, he, he he would like to do away with the vaping scene. But um, I, know, I know we have a Biden fan out there, so I got to be careful what I say. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I will definitely be careful what I say. At least on a live show, I'll be careful what I say. But uh, I don't want to say that out loud because it sounds racist. Well, if it sounds that it probably is going to be racist. So, All right, this is somebody in chat saying this. I don't know what it is. What's a chicken monkey? Is that like a thing? Or it just... <laughs> why is that? I don't understand what. why you're saying racist. What are you getting at? What, what's a chicken monkey? Is that something I've never heard of before? I've never heard that term used before, so that is kind of a new one to me. Is so. that actually a type of meat? Or I don't know what he's talking about in chat. <laughs> is that some type of meat? <laughs> Oh my god if it is again i've never heard of it never had it either i don't believe but uh leave it to mark he'll there could be a thousand questions asked to mark in chat but he'll see a little statement like that and it just it pulls his eyes to it he, it, yep. it draws the tension so uh mark's got something interesting coming up this week do i i said you've got something pretty interesting coming up this week that i i guess i forgot all about till i seen it last night you got a little uh, surgery coming up, don't you, Sonny Boy? Oh, yeah, eye surgery Thursday. Ugh. First laser surgery, so. So are you going to get the full-on eye correction out of this, or? No, it's, they're just doing whatever they need to do. They're going in, coming out. You go on. Quick and See the breaking news? Painless. Is there breaking news? Yeah, in chat, Odie, Odie Rip says, breaking. Reports the F. FAA has banned U.S. flights over large areas of Middle East. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Folks, I told you, as we were going through this show, there would be things coming out. So, uh, Dude, this is going to suck. Well, you know, another thing that was going on, too, uh, you notice they've been sending troops over, so not, not a major engagement of troops, but... I noticed they have been sending some over, so... I don't get into politics, so I know nothing about why this is happening, but apparently they, they're arguing on Twitter. Like, you go to war because you're arguing on Twitter? Like, holy fuck. What? This is not, this has nothing to do with Twitter, what's going on, Mark. <laughs> no, I know that. I know that. But aren't they, like, trolling each other on Twitter now? Uh, I was watching Joe Rogan this morning, and they said they were pretty much trolling each other. Trump and whatever that dude's name is. Uh, the president of... Uh... No, but th- they're trolling each other because of what has happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's been going on. It's just fucking crazy. Uh, but uh, this is bad. I mean, they, I don't know if they reported anything yet, but from the uh, I've, from what I saw before the show, because I was watching it, Iran shot 30 missiles, estimated 30 missiles, into Iraq at U.S. bases. So... But they were already on full alert, and I'm sure, hopefully, they have some sort of got to have some sort of warning satellites or something when this incoming coming in. Uh-huh. But uh, if they ended up killing American soldiers, then that's we're going to be all out war soon, very soon. Oh well, I guess there you we'll... go, Alex. I don't know if Alex is full of crap or if he's tell- or if he just saw that. 20 dead in U.S. space attack. Let me oh. let me look and see if my... That is not going to be good. Because my phone is going to start... Because I'm hooked up with all these news channels on my phone. I'm certain that the, my phone's about to go crazy. Uh, Barry, it's not over oil. Trust me. I think it's over the... Um, it has nothing to do with oil. It's the increase in the vape tax. It has to do with vaping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trump's going to address the nation tonight. Oh, no. Are you serious? Yep. 
Oh, wow. No. Why do you got to say shit like this? Oh, my God. I, I hope he realizes I'm live at the moment. Maybe he'll wait till 8 o'clock when I go it's off. It's probably going to be at uh, 9 p.m. tonight. Yeah, I'm certain. Uh, Eastern time. Because they go by the real time. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. Uh, yeah, folks, this could be a lot like... Uh, mm, I don't even want to think about this stuff, but you, you got to think about it. Didn't Joe Rogan say that China and Russia will be helping them? I sure hope not. That's what Joe Rogan said today. Said what? What did he say? That China and Russia will be helping Iran. Probably. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things that are said when shit like this goes down, but... China, China and Russia do a lot of business with Iran. So that... I don't know. That's fucking creepy. Yeah, well, and the thing about it is right now, regardless if you want to agree with it or not, we have a president in office right now that doesn't play with this stuff, and he's not going to... He's not going to sit here and, and, and talk about this stuff. He's 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 about action. Even at the same time, he's sometimes a little too active. That's the problem. Yeah. You know? So you can best bet if what we just heard a second ago, if 20 Americans have died, you, you can best bet this is going to be a long night right here. There, there's shit going down. All right. So now Ashley Brown says that Fox News is saying no, no U.S. casualties. So maybe Alex was just yeah. saying that, or maybe the, maybe it was casualties, but non-U.S. Maybe that's what. Yeah, because typically, I mean, like I said, if there would have been casualties that come across, well, I mean, I would have seen something happen here. Um. Yeah, shit ain't shit ain't looking too good at the moment. I agree with you though. I do agree with you there, dripped out Nick. You U.S. ain't nothing to fuck with. When uh, when at the war with Iraq, I was watching CNN, and they actually showed when they did the whole like big ass bomb dropping. That shit like freaked the hell out of me when I seen that. I'm like, holy shit, this is real. Uh, White House just announced that Trump will not address the nation tonight. Praise Jesus. Oh. I'll be able to sleep tonight. So now he's not. So which one is it? Who said, where did you read that? Yeah, where are you guys getting your info from? Are you reading chat or is this actual news news? We need facts, folks. Uh, huh, Esty? Oh, I, I was looking on my phone because a lot of times soon as stuff happens, my phone okay, gets so. alerted. So I'm kind of jumping in. Jump Everyone up. always puts out the White House phone number in chat. Drop that White House number. Let's call them up and find out what's going on. Dude, I apologize, you, folks, tonight. You know, this is this is pretty major what's going on right now, so I am a bit distracted with everything. So, oh, there you go, Andy. That's yeah, what I've seen, and that was terrifying. Yeah, it's... I wouldn't count on Trump addressing the nation. You, ne you never know what's going to happen, but... You, I, I, I do agree with that statement in a sense to say that Trump doesn't, Trump wouldn't necessarily come out this quick, you know, with shit going on as we speak because there's still a lot of stuff going on, you know. It's yeah. Typically. Uh, Chris Lord has, has an update. He says 12 goats and four chickens were killed. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mark, Mark might be a little stressed over that one right now, so. Da, 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 da. Uh, I love it, so, and I'm pretty sure most of my chicken comes out of that portion of the earth. Well, Bill Dick just said two chicken monkeys lost a leg, so whatever. A chicken monkey. Whatever a chicken monkey is, I'm I'm kind of scared to say that word for some reason because I, I doesn't it sound it feels racist for some I, reason. I don't know what the word is, so I I'm, know it's not because monkeys in it. It just feels racist, like chicken monkey. Uh, Anyway, thank you, Mark. <laughs> I called you a goddamn chicken monkey, bitch. Yep, this show is probably about to get pulled, but it's all good. All good. Put the nuggets on the fucking table now. <laughs> is <laughs> Mark? Holy shit! Uh, all casualties are, are Iraqi soldiers. What Brandon said. Okay. 
<sighs> so they're killing our own people? No, no. Iran shot the missiles and killed Iraqi people. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't catch what you... I didn't catch the uh, last part. Okay. I mean, I might as well just screen share the news on here. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm making light of this at all by any means, but I mean it's kind of where my mind's at right now. It's not. Uh, really David what... Humpston says, "What about everything vape related being banned in Jersey? That it happened? I thought it got postponed or." Well, hold on. Yeah, I thought that was postponed because yeah. it was supposed to have been yesterday, if I'm correct, on the six. Yeah. And uh, I believe if something would have happened. I would have either heard it from Brian or uh, I'm certain Jay would have spoke on that one too. Uh, yeah, now this whole chat is nothing but. Uh, what if you retitle the show? I need to retitle it real quick. I need to get Daz Boot Life off the title and put in. Mark, a... uh, are you going to join the military and fight? Got your camo hat on, ready to I'm, go? Dude, I'm ready. Yep. Hook me up with like a laser eye. I could be like I could be uh, like a night ninja. Well, hold on. Now here's another thing that's going on out there, and I know folks are probably like either folks are really getting turned off right now, or they're staying interested. But if you also didn't know, there was a series of earthquakes down in Puerto Rico. Yep. And uh, if y'all have kind of been keeping up with things, it seems like. Things have been pretty active earthquake-wise here for the past, what, six months? We might be having some signs coming on here, man. Dude, if I was, you, ain't, you ain't joking, vaping gambler. If I was at war, I'd be dressed in camouflage and wear black gloves, and I wouldn't need weapons. I just would sneak up on people and snap their necks, mm. just crawl through the area. Check out the real vaping gambler wrote <laughs> reinstating the draft would ruin the United States as we know it with the kids nowadays. Oh my god, <laughs> what did I just tell you, Mark? That's <laughs> that <laughs> now. Me and Mark was talking, this was before Mike even joined us in here before the show. Obviously, uh, I was reading today where there was talk about reinstating the draft, and I told Mark, I said. The kids are not the way that they used to be back in the day when the draft was there. The, we would be in a sad situation. <laughs> They'd want to bring their video games. Yes. This... Cell phones and be able to post on Instagram. Can we play Fortnite? Look, I just killed an enemy. Like, just yeah. stupid. The, this world is not the same as back when it was before when the draft was in effect. So, oh, Lord. I picture someone like me fighting. Well, Mark, Probably, I mean, you're, Mark, you're, you're too old. You're, you, you, you don't have to worry about being drafted. But still, like, imagine me. Yeah, imagine you. Somebody that's afraid to come out of his own house, I, much less be put in a different country to fight I got for us. Into, like, reflexes. So, Mark is, Mark, actually, Mark, imagine Mark on a battlefield with his scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I could see Mark on a scooter just pass by everyone with his ninja stealthiness and make it all the way into Tehran. Yes. <laughs> Iran. I anyway, could, whatever it's called. I could more or less see Mark stuck in the sand, just sitting there looking at people and people coming up on him and he can't see shit anyway and him just looking all around like, huh? <laughs> like, give me so, a push. Yeah. Can y'all can y'all help me out? So Did I would I would like I would probably turn quick. Like, if I knew where we'd be, like, they were gaining on us, I'd be like, I'd run to their side, like, dude, I'll strip down, give me, you know, give me one of your outfits, and I'll help you guys out. Oh, my God. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, you are such a coward. <laughs> apparently, Kurt just put in the definition of a chicken monkey. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so, I want to go off of this. He says, uh, amusing, easygoing, fresh, funny, lively, playful, whimsical, individual people find interesting and see okay. i've never heard that word or term before in my life okay so uh hold on cta went out today nj ban hearing is thursday the 9th 
Okay. Yes, Bill, outfits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, Mark, if you're having surgery on Thursday, are you still doing the show Thursday night? I should more than likely be there. I'll just have like a patch on my eye, but I should be there. I was going to say, you will have a patch on your eye. Like it's only laser eye surgery. I don't think it's open heart surgery. You like, have a pirate's like patch thing, you know? Yep. You got one of those? I got one ready. Nice. Well, make sure you got your patch and your, and your boot. Did you get a pirate outfit? You know what? I should have a pirate outfit because I got a boot. I got an eye patch. All I need is a hat. Hell yeah, go. son. You Better get on Amazon. Get ready. I got so much fucking costume shit I've ordered. It's not even funny. And not worn a damn bit of it, barely. No. <laughs> mm. Zero. Uh, wow, well, I can't. The chat's going all over the place. If I try to get involved in somewhere, I'm going to. Uh, it's too much. A lot of war talk. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of everything talk going on in here right now. <laughs> Uh, butt pirate. Uh, uh, cool breeze got a good one. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. Uh, the government. I'm sorry, son. You're too young to vape. Now take this rifle and go fight in our war. Yep. That is fucking now that's good. something we have spoke about a lot. So, um, you know, you know the twenty one rules in effect now. So. I wonder what the rules are uh, in other countries, though. So I'm guessing if it's not 21 over there, can't nobody say shit to you there, right? It was probably like 13 in other countries. Yeah, I know. We've seen some crazy shit on video. Like, it seems like a standard for a 13-year-old to be sitting there in some town Smoking. smoking up a pack of cigarettes, so like if the kid's not smoking, it just looks weird. Like it's strange. Yep, definitely. What you got going on over there, Mark? I'm hearing some. Sound. There was, a, I think, a spy that drove by the house. <laughs> They're over there casing the. They heard about it. They heard about Fagin the ninja. Yep. They're casing they the park. They want to get their eyes on me first because they know I'm like elite. Uh, Terry Vapor says, Mark can't go. No small dicks. Oh, Whoa! Right, there you go. Huh. I think the U.S.'s retaliation should be, should be to send Mark to Iran. Dude, send me there for a weekend, and I guarantee you, the country will love us. Ah, slain of sinners. ST, it's 18 years old for everything in Australia. 18. Yeah, but uh, don't y'all have some pretty... In the butt. The only thing I can't deal with Australia is, is y'all don't have guns going on over there, and I, I got to have my guns. So. I can't do the accent for too long. Tell you, mate. Or however the shit goes. I know that was wrong, but... <laughs> uh, I can't understand myself. Uh, Fagan is the Antichrist. That is true. He's everything you can think of wrapped into one, so. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sorry we didn't give you any vaping news tonight. I mean, or not much, but I guess not every night can be a vape show, <laughs> vaping product night. Yeah, I would wear a black. I would look at, wear a, like a snow camo, camo skin suit. So it's like body, it's like tight to my skin. And dude, I would float through the, in between the trees and shit. I think what you should do is like what you did in DC when we were there. Get you some yoga pants like you had. You had the little, I don't know what kind of yoga pants you had, but. I got the end of them. Uh, then they have like little flowers and shit on them. They were very colorful. I remember that much. That's what I would wear, something like that, but like a whole one piece bodysuit. Yeah. You you would look good in that. Out. I eliminate the target, and I'd be out. Let me make something real clear to Adrian Daniels. He's been trying to kind of get me stirred up a little bit. Uh, as y'all know, if 
if the country is still here by Saturday afternoon and we still got football going on, the Ravens will beat the Titans Saturday night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, big shout out to PK. He just joined us. I guess he's out riding around in his car and figured that he'd start pulling his phone out texting again. So, uh, but he did say, "Have Mark design a product with Iran? Problem solved. They'll go bankrupt." <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very true. Even though Iran is a desert, I would still wear my snow camo shoot suit because no one would expect to see those colors, and they would completely ignore it. Mark, you would die in the heat. <laughs> you would just lay there and die like a big slob. So. <laughs> Pretty quick. Uh, Mark has a camel toe outfit. <laughs> That's All right, now Southern Southern Comfort 20. or Southern, I can't read. Says that twenty eight American soldiers are dead. Were you first of all? Yeah, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I want to be, I want to be serious about this. If y'all are actually seeing this information, I don't care. But don't make shit up or post stuff for the hell of it. That's one thing not to kid around with. They don't do what we do when we do our reviews. Mm. I don't just make shit up. We need facts, folks. Resources. Because news like that, which I'm not seeing anywhere yet. Hey, I'm, news looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hey, news with, yeah. I guess I need to fire my iPad up and get on a freaking news site. I'll have to do that later. Hell, the show's almost over. Uh, it's, it's live on Twitter right now. I would assume you mean live. What's live on Twitter? <clears throat> Fox is saying no U.S. casualties, says Turbo Tony. All right, so cow, cow, cow fan. Is that what it is? Cowboy, oh, Cowboy Fan 21 says that Iran's military says it has killed 30 U.S. soldiers tonight. U.S. officials have only reported Iraqi casualties so far. Yeah. So. And Fox is saying no U.S. casualties. Just and watch that. MSNBC live. is fake news. A lot of that shit's fake news. Uh, just watched live two missiles in. U.S. base, no reported dead yet. That was 45 minutes ago. Hold on. Okay. Damn, I'm about to have to kill this show so I can get news on. Rush, rush, hurry, hurry, love, come to me. They bombed wrong base. Just a oh. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting too. Do a live like war feed, like a uh, updates and things that are going on. A little streamer across the screen. Uh, Ode, I'm I'm kind of with you. I mean, facts like that that would seem a little early to come out because this just was reported about an hour ago or a little yeah. over an hour ago. So to have that kind of confirmation on body count, I would think would be a little bit hard and I don't think that information would exactly be released yet but so they're not going to say nothing yet until they know 100% what the body counts are yeah or what casualties from what side has happened but uh, I would suggest you keep your eye on the news because uh, something we all need to keep our eyes on right now uh, Mike Berg says that second wave just been launched so what are they? Uh, more rockets coming in? Oh, this is going to be all out war. That's true. What he just wrote. When we start doing, uh, when we start doing like some major airstrikes, you, you know, shit's about to be on. We <laughs> want to change the subject. Uh, yeah. Bacon is brutalians. Ugh. RC7 with his fucking RC7 ass. Hmm. I have good. no idea what I'm talking about. Well, let's do this because, uh, yeah, this, this this is kind of a hard night to do a show. Uh, Mark, do you want to pull up a uh, business uh, meeting? 
business meeting. Yeah, business meeting folks. yeah, we got a business meeting to take care of. It smells like duty for some reason. Uh, and if you'd like to get in on this business meeting, uh, this business meeting, I'm sorry, is going to be for U.S. residents only. And a part of this business meeting is going to be dealing with... Business. Uh, business. But the business at hand tonight will be the Hell Vape MD RTA, which was the Mount Lung RTA, I believe, if I'm correct. Am I correct, Mike? Or am I, I wrong? I'm sorry, I was reading something. What did you say? The Hell Vape MD RTA, was that the Mount Lung one? Yeah, okay. it did both. Okay, so that's what's on the business agenda this evening. So, Mr. Mike Vapes, can I get a business meeting number, please? Yeah, so we'll do business meeting number four. Business meeting number four. And uh, I want to answer somebody's question. He asked a few times. Uh, Vapor Dutch, I'm not sure about what Vicious Hand does. They don't keep me up to date. No, actually, no company really tells me if they're going to restock products or whatever. So I have no clue. The winner, I'm going to say Yvette, Y-V-E-T-T-E. That's good. Yvette. Okay. Yet? Yet? I don't know. Congratulations. I see Merry Yep, there's Yvette. She's in chat. Okay, so Yvette, contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com, and uh, we will get your business meeting taken care of. Uh, you need to send me a photo ID with address and birth date so I can confirm your business meeting. So, with that being said, folks, I'm sorry that, you know, we... I had a complete different direction for this show tonight, but uh, with everything that's taking taking presence right now, it's a little hard to stay concentrated with things. Don't forget, Look, though. The boots. Don't forget the boots. Uh, if you're still sitting around on the computer wanting to watch YouTube after this stream goes off and you just need something to laugh about a little bit, go check out Badlands Chugs. That is the man right there. You will see you will see this tool right here. This tool. You will see this tool being used in many, many of ways. Mark. You wanna kill him? Shit, hell, that's too much ice water. Are you crazy? Chug that shit down, baby. I fucking get brain freeze. Look at ST chugging it down. I'm not chugs. They'll get brain freeze halfway through and give up. Yeah. He's weak. I Don't am you? weak. I can't do it. <laughs> it's too cold. Anyway, cold. I have to try that for another night. Anyway, y'all have a good one. We are out of here. Don't forget, vape team Thursday night. And we could have something special for y'all Sunday evening with the boots. The boots. I don't know what it'll be, but if we're around, <laughs> yeah, we'll give it to you. So that being said, we are going to jet. I'm going to do a smooth transition out. This will be a smooth one out. Here we go. Wow. Oh, smooth transition out. Four, four. <laughs> We're out of here, folks. Later.